good singing. got your Bible, turn with me to the book of Esther, book of Esther, chapter number one, Esther, chapter number one, while you're turning there again, I want to say, I appreciate you being here in the Lord's house. Amen. The best place to be. Amen. Amen. For the child of God. It's the place God wants us to be. Amen. Not a doubt about that. Right. He's never questioned the will of God when it comes to things that the Lord has made abundantly clear. Right. Amen. The Lord gives us some things in His Word that we know by looking at it. It is absolutely the will of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We don't ever have to question. And that's one of them things. I want to uh, look tonight. I want to read. Uh, I'm going to kind of just jump around a little bit and bring you the thought. Uh, in Esther chapter number 1, uh, I'm going to... Uh, Begin reading in verse number nine. Also, Vashti, or Vashti, the queen made a feast for the women in the royal house which belonged to King Ahasuerus. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mehuman, Bista, Harbona, Bigtha and Abagtha, Zethar and Carcass, the seven chamberlains, 
that served in the presence of Ahasuerus the king to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the princes her beauty for she was fair to look on but the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains therefore was the king very wroth and his anger burned in him now, uh, go to chapter number two. After these things, when the wrath of King Ahasuerus was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Uh, then said the, uh, the king's servants that ministered unto him, let there be fair young virgins sought for the king and let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom that they may gather together all the fair young virgins under Shushan the palace to the house of the women under the custody of uh, Hege or Hege, uh, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the women, and let their things for purification be given them. And let the maiden which pleaseth the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Well, I want to talk to you about this evening just for a, a, a few minutes is the woman that had it all and lost it. And the woman that had nothing and gained it all. The woman that had it all and lost it. And the woman that had nothing and gained it all. There are two women in, in, in the, this story particularly uh, that are uh, at, at the different ends of this story. You have Queen Vashti. She is the queen, uh, and Ahasuerus being the king at the time. During this Babylonian reign, when the Jews were there uh, in Babylon, we have this man that is reigning there in his province, uh, the king, Ahasuerus. And he reigned, the Bible said in chapter 1, verse 1, from India even unto Ethiopia. Now, if you know much about the map, I mean the rain from India all the way down to Ethiopia, that's a, that's a pretty good spread. India is, I mean, over, I mean, way, it's like on the last part of the Middle East heading into the Far East. In Ethiopia, you have to completely leave that continent and go down into the continent of Africa to get to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had a, a big kingdom that he ruled over. The Bible said that he had 107 and 20 provinces, 127 provinces that he was king and he reigned over. And so, here this queen, Vashti, now the Bible tells us in uh, ch chapter 1, verse number 11, I mean that uh, sh she was a beauty. She was fair to look upon. That's why that the king had called her. He wanted to show off how beautiful that she was. He wanted all of his chamberlains, everybody to know how beautiful his queen was. Now you think about what's going on. I mean, he has exalted her. He has exalted her. She is the queen of all of that. And he asked her to come. He's uh, having his uh, big banquet that he's having with uh, all of them that he rules over. She's having a party for the women. 
And he sends for her to come. And she says, I'm not going at this time. I'm not going right now. Listen, I'll tell you something. Living in this time, when the king calls for you, you come. I don't know what kind of relationship that maybe she felt that she had with the king. She was the queen, but she was also servant to the king. I mean, that her voice did not override his voice. I mean, he was king. What he said was law. What he said must be done. What he said had to be done. There he did. He calls for his wife. He's wanting to show her off. He's wanting to exalt her before them. He's wanting to parade her. He's wanting them to see her as beautiful as he sees her. Yet she don't come. She doesn't come. Now, uh, what, I'm, what I'm talking about initially tonight is being an example. Being an example. Now here you've got a woman that had everything. I mean everything. Can you imagine being the queen of this kind of a kingdom? That your husband was over a province from India all the way down to Ethiopia. That meant that anything you wanted, you could have it. Anything she could possibly ask for, he'd get it for her. Right. There was nothing, no doubt, that he would have withheld from his queen. He already, I mean, listen, she was the star in his eyes. She was, I mean, beautiful. Now listen, I want to tell you something, and just kind of pass it. Our Lord sees us as a great prize. Are you listening to me? Right. He sees us that way. There's no reason that you and I should not Obey the call of our Lord. Amen. Come to the call of our King. But here she has, she is not coming. And uh, I mean, the King, uh, I mean, he, he, his, he, he got mad, he got upset. Uh, he was wroth and his anger burned in him, verse 12, the Bible said. Now I want to say this, first of all, she is a bad example. Now the king, when he had said unto the wise men in verse 13, which knew the times. I mean, these are the men that uh, followed the stars, the moon, the sun. I mean, they were the one that knew the times. And for so it was the king's manner toward all that knew law and judgment. I mean, he took these men that meant something. He knew they knew what they were talking about. And the king had them brought. In, and, and the next unto him, and he gives off these names, which saw the king's face at the end of verse 14, and which sat the first in the kingdom. What shall we do under the queen Vashti, according to the law, because she hath not performed the commandment of the king, Ahasuerus, by the chamberlains. And Mamukin answered before the king and the provinces, Vashti the queen hath not done wrong to the king only, but also to all the princes and to all the people that are in all provinces of the king of Hazarus. They said she's not only done the king wrong, she's done the princes wrong, and she's done all the people wrong by not, not being the queen that she was supposed to be. A bad example. Listen, she maybe thought that day that her, her little fit, if, if, if it was one, I'm not going to see the king. That You know, that was just going to be between her and him that night before they laid down. You know, they'd argue it out and, and uh, maybe make up. But no, this affected everybody below them. 
How did it affect? How did, did, did her example of not coming when the king said come, how did it affect the princes and the people? Well, I'll tell you, uh, this is what was said. He said in verse 17, for this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes when it shall be reported. He said, you know what's going to happen? When all the women in the, in the kingdom hear the queen, she stood up to the king. He told her to come and she told him, I ain't coming. So I think if my husband asked me to come, I think I won't come. They said all the women's going to start doing what she did. Now I'm going to tell you something. I mean, now listen, this, this kind of thing happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, it happened years ago in the early 1900s. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. I, now listen, I'm not getting political, but I'm saying you get... We had a group of women stood up, opposed their husbands, and before long, they led a whole nation of women to oppose their husbands. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm telling it right. right. That's the truth. That's history. Mm -hmm. And the, he, did, he knew that that's what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. That the, all the women ain't going to listen to their husbands. Listen, there's an order to things. Did you know that? Amen. I'm not talking about somebody being better than somebody else. But listen, God puts the man the head of the home. Right. And his wife, amen, she is under him. Right. Am I right? Yes, sir. He's not to use her as a doorman. I'm not talking about stuff like that. But I'm talking about leadership in the home. Amen. There's a way that God structured the home. Amen. And the husband's to make the decision. And when he says something, that's the way it needs to be. And the king said, all the women, they're not going to listen to their husbands. Why? Because they saw that the queen wasn't going to listen to the king. Mm -hmm. I mean, what an example. Now listen, do you know that uh, the example that you uh, are as a person is very persuasive? Mm -hmm. Very persuasive. I mean, what you do is going to be an example to them that, that's below you. Right. I mean, if you go about and do something, then why, why don't somebody else go, go ahead and do the same thing? Mm -hmm. There's got to be some structure. Amen. 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 Listen, I, I want to tell you something. Why, what would it be? What would it be? Listen to me now. Just stay with me for just a second. This ain't going to, be, this ain't going to happen, but what if this happened? Uh, what if all of a sudden, there's a woman in this church decided she wanted she's going to preach one Sunday, and she stood up and said, "I'm going to preach this Sunday." And then somebody else got it in their mind. Well, if she can, maybe I can. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else. I mean, listen. What I'm saying is, you can't just do anything that comes across your mind to do. Right. There's got to be some structure and some a right way of doing things. So here, she didn't come to her king and they said, all the women's going to be just like her. It's going to be reported. And the ladies of Persia, in verse 18, in media, say this day unto all the king's princes, which they have heard of the deed of the queen, thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. Now there's an example followed. You have the example, the bad example, given. Now you've got an example followed. They said, these women, they're going to rise up with contempt and wrath. They're going to follow that. Listen, as a, as a Christian, and I'm not, I'm, listen, in the text here, we're talking about women. But I'm going to talk about men and women tonight. Listen, everything that you and I do, it's an example to them that are watching us. Amen. And what we do is going to speak volumes to them that are looking at us. Right. Everything I do, listen, if the preacher preaches the book, listen to me, if the preacher preaches the book, 
And then they see you as one of the spiritual Christians of the church. Say, I don't have to do that one. Then what's them other ones below going to say? Well, they don't neither. Mm -hmm. Well, I know he said the Bible says this, but, but they don't neither. The attitude, listen, an attitude and a spirit will be picked up. Right. And it breeds contempt and wrath. Why? Because the next time the preacher preaches on something, then somebody's going to get mad. Right. Because he preached on what they did. Ain't that right? Yes. Hadn't that happened before? Yes. Sure it has. It happens all the time. Listen, your, your example is an influence, and it could be an influence to a whole race of people. This one woman was going to affect every woman in the provinces. Right. Not just one or two. Mm -hmm. All of them. Listen, you don't know how many. You, you may think, well, you know, my wrong decision or my personal decision, that's why it's important for you to know even the personal things that you do mm -hmm. are an example to others. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Amen. Even the personal things that you do, your personal convictions, your personal standards, how you carry yourself, what you believe, how you respond to the truth. Amen. Amen. Your action and your attitude toward your God, toward your church, toward your husband or your wife. You take a bunch of young men that sees an older man and all he does is boss his wife around, you know what they're going to get? You're going to see a bunch of young bucks start acting like they can just boss their wife around. Oh, right. Are you hearing me? Right. Mm -hmm. But you, you find a bunch and they see a man and he loves his wife and she respects him. They're, they're going to see a great example of, of what, a, what a godly man, a, a leader, a leader and a lover of his home and his family. And, and hey, they'll want that. Amen. They'll want that. Amen. But I, you, I've been around long enough. I've seen it. Listen, you can go in families, generation after generation, and you've got grandpa up here and his son and his son beneath him and his son beneath him and every one of them just about alike. Right. One example. Mm -hmm. You don't know how far it'll go. How far it'll spread. And listen, be careful about the example that you follow. These women didn't have to follow, Pastor. Somebody should have said, some of these ladies could have said, that was wrong of her as the queen to do the king that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to start doing my husband that way just because she is bad to her husband. I'm not going to have a bad home just because she had a bad home. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm saying be careful about the example that you follow. Amen. Because not all the time is the example that you decide to follow the godly example and the right example. Right. Amen. Amen. Even from the ones that's supposed to be. She's the queen. Mm -hmm. And she is beautiful. She was tender and and I mean I mean boy she was she was I mean top of the line as far as women were concerned she's supposed to be a cut above why because she's the queen mm -hmm. everything about her the way she holds herself the way she carries herself the way she presents herself at all times listen at all times and you and I, as God's children, we have to know that every day and all times in our life, we're being an example whether we know it or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're right. Whether we know it or not. Well, he's a good guy, but every now and then he, he loses his cool. He may slip and cuss a little. Oh, my. What an example. Right. You got to watch. You can't afford to let that happen. You can't lose your cool. Right. You can't let one of them words slip off the hook. Amen? Right. That's right. And I'm not just, I'm, I'm talking about 
listen, being an example, she was a bad example, and they followed, some of them was willing to follow her example. Never follow a bad example. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's no way for you to do, that's no way to behave. Right. Then there was an example, listen, corrected. They took and stripped her queenship from her. They made an example out of her in front of the whole kingdom. She wasn't queen anymore. Listen, there's some things that God did for our learning, for our admonition. Isn't that right? Right. I mean, he chastised Israel. Just like Queen Vashti's being chastised. She's having her crown taken from her. Not going to be queen anymore. Why? Because of her action. Mm -hmm. No, don't get mad at the king. Don't get mad at everybody else. This was her action. Right. Listen, there ain't no use in us pointing out for, well, I did what I did because of them. No, this is my action. Right. I've got to stand for my actions in my life. And what happens to me, what I do, I'm going to have to give an account myself. You'll have to give an account yourself. Vashti had to give an account. Right. And there was an example made. They made her an example. Well, all you women, if you do this, look what happened to Vashti. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to lose your home? Are you willing to lose your husband? Are you willing to lose your place? Are you willing to lose your position? Listen, hey, you, you ought to thank God for the position that God's put you in. Amen. Amen. Whether male or female. Amen. You ought to thank God for the position that God's put you in and how he's blessed you. And do that to the best of your ability. Amen. Right. He corrected her. There's an example constituted. I mean, they sent letters in verse 22 to every people after their language that every man should bear rule in his own house and it should be published that what Vashti done was wrong and this is the right action to take. Amen. It was constituted. Listen, there's some things I was talking about earlier. There's some, some ways that you and I are to just know this is just this is this is right. You you see somebody, you know whether it's the right example or not. Because of what's been constituted. It's already been said. It's already been put in black and white for us. Amen. God's already said it. God has already said it. What about that church down the road? You know, they they got them <clears throat> they got them one of them preachers had been married three or four times and all his wives are still living and and uh, and they changed their music and and uh, you know they're I mean they're really growing now. They got people coming in from everywhere. That don't make it right. Mm -hmm. It's sure not the example to follow. Right. Because what Jesus said, people are blind leaders of the blind. Right. Following the wrong example. Blind leaders of the blind. Following them Pharisees. They were religious. They were religious. But they were wrong in what they were doing. Blind leaders of the blind. Now there's an example chosen. God will choose you to be an example. They said, what are we going to do? They said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring virgins to the king. Not a bunch of loose things running around. Young I mean, women that have kept their self, mm -hmm. kept their self pure, kept their self clean. Bring them before the king. But before we bring them before the king, we're going to give them their stuff for their they're cleaning for their sanctification. 
They had to go through this process. They ate a certain diet and they, they were bathed in, in, in a certain way with, with different perfumes and oils. and I mean, it, it uh, softened their skin and all those things that six month process and then they brought him in before the king and the one that was most beautiful in his eyes, the one he was going to pick and choose to be the next queen to take Vashti's place I mean Vashti had it all and lost everything because of one wrong decision you know how many people in the Bible have made a bad decision and lost what they had? Mm -hmm. I think of Achan. Mm -hmm. Made a bad decision. Listen, God was going to give them all the Canaan land. And he told them when they went into Jericho, he said, don't you take nothing that they have. What did he do? He found a wedge of gold. He found some real nice Babylonian garment. He went and he buried it in his tent. He didn't, nobody will know. But then when Joshua and the few that went up to Ai, the next city, they were defeated. Joshua knew there's sin in the camp. Mm -hmm. Got to be sin in the camp. God helped us take over Jericho and we didn't lift one finger. Here, little AI, we killed, and they, they, they about killed us. He's got to be sin in the camp. All he had to do, Aiken, all he had to do was just do what God said. But no, he got his eye on that wedge of gold and that Babylonian garment. Wrong decision. Right. Wrong example. That he was. Lost everything. Vashti lost everything. But now here. Esther is. Little Hebrew girl. Boy at the end of them six months. I'm telling you what. She didn't have dry feet. <laughs> walking around in the sand. Her feet was just as soft. Are you listening to me? The prettiest toenails and fingernails and hands you've ever seen in your life. I mean, just skin, just like a baby's skin. Hair. They didn't smell like a camel when they come in there. I promise you that. They didn't smell like they'd been riding a donkey all day. But now before, maybe she did. Why? She had to work. She was a slave. Sweat every day. Calluses on her hands. Calluses on her feet. But because she had kept herself, she kept herself when it was important to keep herself. They saw something in her and brought her in for that test of time. That's what it was. A test of time. You and I, sometimes, and we may go through a period like that. A time of testing. God's going to see what, what we're going to do. Listen, they were choosing their next example for queen. The Bible said in verse number 8 of chapter 2, So it came to pass when the king's command was heard, many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan the palace to the custody of Haggai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house. To the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. His job was to keep all them women 
in order. Can you imagine that? And the maiden pleased him, verse 9. She had got his attention. He's just a keeper of the women. Just being who she was. Got his attention. She pleased him. He speedily gave her her things for purification. At the end of verse 9, he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred. She kept it a secret. Listen, the influence of God, no doubt, upon that man Haggai that began that friendship between Esther and, and Haggai because he brought her before the king. A woman that had nothing, and now she was given everything. Why? Because she didn't follow after a bad example. She was willing to be made the best example. You see, I'm going to say this, and I'm done. <clears throat> In our Christian life, you can't just not do anything. You, you can't, you're not going to just flow in traffic and nobody notice you. You're not going to, you're not going to just sit in the crowd and nobody really notice you in the Christian life. A choice has to be made. Amen. You're going to be an example one way or another, some kind. You're either going to be a cold example or a hot example. An example of stagnation or an example of fire burn. Kind of example that you, listen, just like Esther, she was just willing to be made the prime example. She's shooting for queen. Who, me? Queen? Well, if I can be made queen... I'm willing to be made queen. There's so much untapped potential. Listen, in every child of God, you don't, there's no limit to how far you can go. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you'll let God make you that. Just like the bad example, I mean, listen, her, Vashti's bad example was going to affect the whole kingdom of women. Look how far a bad example could go. Well, a good example can go even further. A good example can go in even further. Amen. And it speaks louder. And it can do more. Amen. She saved her whole race of people. That's what Esther did. And unless she was willing at this point here in chapter 2, to be made the prime example. She would have never been in position to have saved her people. And they would have perished. It's important that you be an example now because you don't know when it is that God's going to use your example as an influence. Maybe to save your people. Right. Good example, a bad example. I want you to stand. People used to say years ago. 
I guess it's an all right saying, but what you say is what you know what what would what would my church be if everybody were like me? What if everybody did what I did? If I don't if I don't take leadership, what if everybody didn't take leadership? Right. What if nobody ever followed leadership? What if nobody ever said there's a way to do things. I need to do I, I need to I need to fall in line in my spot, my place, mm -hmm. and do what's best. In my home, I need to be everything that I need to be. she plays something if the Lord spoke to your heart in some way if you want to pray you can come pray or you can pray right where you are Father in Jesus name Lord I love you God I thank you for your precious word Lord help me God to be the right example God help me to be an example of love Help me to be an example of leadership, of patience, of grace. Oh, Lord of heaven, of caring. Dear Lord Jesus, help me. God, you've given us so much. Lord, we don't want to lose what you've given unto us. God, I don't want to be a bad example. God, I want to be a good example. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help our people. Help every soul that's here. I pray and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. While she plays, the altar's open. Appreciate your attention. Appreciate you coming tonight. Does anybody have a word before we dismiss? All right. I love you. Appreciate you. I really do. Thank you for taking the time to be in God's house. Amen. And uh, pray for the Sunday service, okay? Really pray for the Sunday service that the Lord would give us wisdom. God, give us liberty, give us exactly what's needed, amen, for the service, and uh, come praying, come ready to testify, or sing, or whatever it is that God would move you to do, amen, we want to come and worship him, don't we? Amen. Amen. All right, if all hearts and minds are clear, fell uh, well, hey. fellowship away to one another, and you're liberty in the Lord, okay? <laughs>